那我们都铁轨哟、哦，小朋友们开始玩雪了。瑞士的山真的是很漂亮，特别陡峭。现在就可以看到了最高峰。直接在缆车里就可以看到 Mountain Horn， 这太美了，真的就是叫 Paradise。看身后就是马特洪恩峰，走，走。看这最高山峰就在我们脚身后。嗯，小星星。啊，爸爸来了，是吧？现在马上要小别胜新婚了。Because what we can give away is time. 一会儿要上山啦，观光列车这一趟是直接观光的。嗨，<笑>看窗外是 The Mar 小镇，很多小酒馆、小旅馆，雪山在远处，那个好像就是 Matterhorn 了。哇，好漂亮！我们好高呀！这你在在画什么呀？画下。到了好多雪的地方，你看到我们都铁轨哦。瑞士的山特别的俊俏，嗯，这个山上还是有很多雾气的。看这个轨道好陡，一直爬山，然后我们就要站到山顶上去。已经开始有人在山上滑雪了。哇，下，加油！有，好冷啊！你期待着玩雪，结果在这里好冷，是不是？好多人在这滑雪呢，九九，好玩吗？还在吃什么？巧克力，巧克力快餐，是不是？小朋友们开始玩雪喽！看，我们要上去看看他的酒店和餐厅。哎呀，好冷啊！哇，可以隐隐约约看到对面的雪山。米娅来坐，呀，屁股墩儿。看，这里有最大的巧克力做的马特洪安峰，三千一百米啊，海拔。看我们的瑞士热巧克力，然后吃个德国的香肠，好口渴。小朋友们又要出去玩雪啦！看，太阳要出来啦！马特洪安峰就在云层中。哇、wow, ，你看远处的山峰非常的陡啊，还有很多这种怪石嶙峋。瑞士的山真的是很漂亮。在这里说，马特洪安峰是四千四百七十八米海拔，跟其他各州的山峰的区别，还可以爬雪山呢。在这里可以戴上 VR， 感受一下飞起来的感觉。我们要下山了，坐到了山下。看滑雪小镇的房子里的灯都亮了，人们滑完了雪，晚上都回房间开始做饭吃晚餐了。等到了傍晚的时间，马特洪峰逐渐的要从云雾里面出来了，特别陡峭。开板第一滑，而且昨天昨天雪山都没开，今天我们一来就可以上山了。你们也看到了雪景啊，跟爸爸胖，我们我们做了猪排，还有披萨，然后还有瑞士小火锅。今天我们俩出门早啊，刚九点钟，你看这个太阳刚晒到山上就出门了，而且今天是大晴天，现在就可以看到了最高峰。今天天气拍照会非常美啊！准备上山喽！让人们从巴士上下来，马上就可以看到冰川河流，还有就是这儿的最高峰，带着三明治，带着雪糕上山。刚刚那几个人就说他们的镐是用来攀登冰川，然后从冰川上面还可以滑。看这边挂雪鞋的架子都是可以垫加温，然后呢，这样暖气出来以后，鞋第二天早上就会被烘得很热，把脚放进去就非常的舒服。哇，看的效果非常好呀！嗯，直接在缆车里就可以看到 m a n t a h o r n 我们在做最后一场最后的 lift， 可以从海拔三千米降降到四千米，又垂直爬升一千米，就可以看到山的最高处
感觉从缆车上下来就到了 Matterhorn Glacier Paradise， 是整个山上最高的地方，而且还可以从瑞士直接滑雪到意大利。哎呀，迫不及待出缆车站看看风景。嗯，欢迎来到马特洪峰，窗户上堆着积雪，我去，都是很美的雪景。打开门。哇，这太美了，真的就是叫 paradise， 像天堂一般。哇，这有一片大冰原。我们现在登到山的最高处，最好的观景点，然后这就可以看到我们山身后这一片很大的冰原。等一会儿滑雪，我们就可以从这儿滑过去。看，这里是海拔三千八百米、一万两千尺，马特洪恩峰。就在我们面前，看身后就是马特洪恩峰，海拔有四千七百多米，一万三千尺，很是这周围最高的一个山峰。我们现在在的地方就叫做 Paradise， 就像天堂，它就是像天堂一般，可以看到周围，可以看到马特洪恩峰，还可以看到旁边的大冰原。我们等一下呢，就装上雪橇设备，就可以沿着大冰原一路滑下去。好，出发！看这边的雪道，对我们来到这儿，真的觉得绝了啊！这虽然我们周折了，从米兰坐火车转，然后再转火车才到这边的瑞士，呃，采尔马特，然后昨天又是乌云，今天能够我们一共就来这儿滑两天雪，今天能够看到全晴的天气，真的是不枉此行啊，非常绝！出山洞，来。装上装备，我们带了一些坚果，还有这是可乐瓶里是自制的热可可，先来一杯。哇！啊，走。哇！哇，棒！太美了，这里的场景。哇，这真的是太美了！躺在雪地上，看着太阳从正后方升起。啊，在这儿滑下来真的是非常棒的风景。看这最高山峰就在我们脚身后，看这人们滑到一半坐在这儿，有沙滩躺椅，喝一杯啤酒，听着音乐，然后可以欣赏着山峰。啊，做 lift， 哦。快到山顶了。非常的平静啊！哇，刚刚冲下来那一段，哇，太爽了！面前就是无尽的雪山的雪峰。哇！看身后的马特洪恩峰，这停下来打云当老刘。我突然滑到了一个方圆可以看到的位置，一直到天平线都没有人的位置。看
，完全没有任何声音，听，只有脚踩雪的声音。这真是一种叫做为什么叫做 paradise， 就像是天堂一般，海拔四千多米，就是离天空非常非常的近了。我们之前就说，划过北美的几个雪场，划过北美的 Jackson Hole， 还有 Whistler， 这都是属于在北美洲顶级的大雪场。但是呢，来到瑞士的雪场，这个 The Mart 发现还是不一样。这边的特点就是周围有非常多很耸立的山峰。好，老刘也赶上来了，哦，哇，下面就是小镇。我们又坐上了缆车，上去就可以接到洛洛、园子和小朋友们。我们好高呀！真的是超级美呀！看到瑞士的最美的山峰。我们下面都是冰川，上山喽！加油，米达，上最高峰！加油，周周，你可以的！来，我们所有人都上来了。最高峰，哎呀，感叹一下，我们的地球多么美！右边，右边好美啊！好，非常好。好，非常好，加油！米达滑啦！米达，这是第三次滑雪，准备好了吗？不发。嗯。今天滑雪呀，这里的山峰特别美。我们看到了冰川，还我们还看到了很多人在滑雪。我很喜欢这个运动。米达。滑雪的时候遇到困难怎么办啊？找爸爸妈妈。那如果遇到了困难，没有其他人帮忙的时候怎么办啊？想办法。对，想办法。那着急有用吗？嗯，对。那哭有用吗？我们要怎么办啊？如果想哭和想着急的时候怎么办？嗯，先呼吸。深呼吸要冷静，冷静之后呢，想办法是不是？在这儿拍到一张月亮在山峰之上的照片。啊，太美啦！幸好老刘叔叔要出发了，是不是？啊、哦，爸爸老刘叔叔，老刘叔叔，你坐火车去日内瓦啦？对，咱晚上去法国。真的是你们从这在一起一块还没有分开过两个星期的时间啊！现在马上要小别胜新婚了。<笑>拜拜。So we were talking about like you also travel a lot, right? How many countries you have been to? Twenty nine, thirty, maybe. So why do you think travel is so attractive to you? I think it's always nice to meet nice people and also see how people are living,、uh -huh. and not only staying in a hotel area, but really trying to connect with the people and the country,、uh -huh. and also with the tradition or. With the food, and you mentioned you like、uh, sometimes to quit the job and then start travel. I think that's really brave. In Asia, people are more used to working hard, but、uh, also in the USA, not many people will quit the job and then start travel. What what was your thinking at that time? I finished my apprenticeship and I wanted to go to the States. I like to go with my company,、uh -huh. but then there was some shifting, and so I decided, okay, if I cannot go to San Francisco with my company, I just go to the States by myself.、Oh. So I took a half year off and、yeah. went to the States and Japan. I think people. 
people in Europe are more、um, used to like gap year. Why do you think so? People are more used to like maybe pause the career for a while and then start doing something else. I don't know for Europe, but maybe for Switzerland, you have also the military service. You have even a half year gap between it,、oh. so that encouraging you to use this half year wisely. Also, South Korea has something like this, but I don't see people start taking gap year to travel. So maybe like people in Switzerland are more relaxed about this. I would encourage everyone to take some gap year. Yeah,、so. What do you think about feeling secure? Because most of the time, if people don't want to take gap year because they are worried about their future job or future income. I. Quit twice the same company、Ooh. and came back to that again because I like the work and I like the company, <laughs> but I also like to travel. And if you need to arrange it, because you have never job security, you, I would not say that your security should be in the job or anything、mm. else.、Mm. What gives you security? Yeah,、no. like I don't think it's money. I think. We born with nothing and we dying with nothing. I think trust in God that He will provide and He will、mm. look for you,、mm. and He、yeah. can open doors also for new jobs and new areas.、Yeah. How do you define a happy day, happy life? Maybe love your neighbors and love yourself, but also trying to enjoy the little things of the daily life.、Yeah. Is it a Nice coffee, or is it some seeing some friends and spending value time? Because what we can give away is time,、mm. and that's more pressure than some money or something else. Because if you giving attention to someone,、uh-huh. that may be impacting this life. Yeah, like what you did to me today is like you spend almost one hour up there, with,、oh. and then I was surprised like like you you were willing to spend so much time. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>